Now, in most of the African nations where male circumcision programs are underway, proponents are in a difficult fight against cultural barriers. In the second edition of our three-part series on male circumcision, we focus on why some circumcised men are abandoning the use of condoms as well as the impact of witchcraft on circumcision. Our reporter Gibbs Dube has that report. Ernest Lameni of Mbavane City, Swaziland, was circumcised in 2006 to enjoy what he calls a clean life. Lameni says he is worried that a large number of men circumcised under current programs funded by international organizations are now abandoning condoms and engaging in unsafe sex. There are many circumcised men who think they can now have sex at will as they are circumcised. They think they can no longer contract HIV. This promiscuous behavior is attracting the attention of some married women who are now blocking their partners from the medical procedure. Zimbabwean Senator Sitembile Mlochwa believes that male circumcision is causing a lot of havoc in most Southern African communities as circumcised men forego the use of condoms. You tend to think that if this man goes through this circumcision, maybe he's going to be too much. Maybe I, I'm going to uh, fail to contain this man. Mlochwa argues that those abandoning condoms believe that they are too clean to contract HIV. After you are circumcised, you say, what, what then am I protecting myself from? Because I now have a clean sheet. Commercial sex workers have taken advantage of the situation, charging more money for providing services to circumcised men who don't care whether the ladies of the night are HIV positive or not. Two commercial sex workers operating in Zimbabwe's second largest city, Bulawayo, say these circumcised men are having sex with them at their own risk. These circumcised men say they do not have any diseases because they are circumcised. In most cases, they offer us a lot of money. One of the circumcised men I had sex with on the first day gave me $100. I am HIV positive, but there is nothing I can do. This man is always coming back for more sex, even though he doesn't know my HIV status. Officials in South Africa, Zimbabwe and Swaziland say they are fighting these myths among circumcised men to ensure they do not contract and spread HIV. To worsen the situation in these nations, some people strongly believe that foreskins are being used for witchcraft purposes. Hila Tlanganani Tungeni, operating from Zimbabwe's Makokoba crowded suburb, explains. Some people, especially business operators, come here looking for foreskins, but we do not give them anything because as members of the Zimbabwe National Traditional Healers Association, we do not use foreskins for any purpose. Dungen says all foreskins are bent following a traditional circumcision procedure, just like what happens in hospitals where they are incinerated. Whenever we conduct these circumcision ceremonies, we bend foreskins, and this is normally witnessed by those attending the traditional ceremonies. If you do not do that, some people can take you to court thinking that you sold their body parts. But Mlochwa doubts that all foreskins are bent or incinerated soon after a circumcision ceremony. As in Africa, we're always looking to do better at our work, do better in our marriages, make more money, and we're looking for something mysterious. So then I think it can be true that these people can now think of those foreskins that are, are put there in a box and now try to coax this uh, medical doctor to, to sell them. Some HIV AIDS experts say there is a need for further research on the effectiveness of male circumcision as some circumcised men may be spreading HIV at an alarming rate. Gibbs Dube reporting for VOA News. Now in the final part of our series on male circumcision tomorrow, Gibbs Dube focuses on the views surrounding further research to strengthen modern circumcision programs in Zimbabwe, Swaziland and South Africa. Well, we want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories that we cover. Please join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And, of course, check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.